Warning. I made this after consuming abnormal amounts of shitpost content, so I'm giving you the only chance to turn back now. I mean, I know you'll still watch it, but whatever. Yeah, I made an entire game, and it plays like Monopoly. Except you kill each other. You guys like my game theory content. No, not that game theory, but literally just game theory. Now I was thinking, what would be a good idea for milestone content? April Fools was coming up, so with all this game theory, what if I pretended I made a game? No, scratch that, what if I actually made a game? So here I am with a video game made out of my love for pure shitpost. Look at this, they throw knives at each other and bleed, man. Monopoly is something, but it lacks, I don't know, an actual game. You kinda just roll the dice and hope you get lucky. As you all know, I'm a huge fan of risk versus reward because decision making is what games are all about. The difference between a gamble and a game is player agency, which just means that you are able to influence the outcome. So, what if you could just kill each other instead? Oh shit. Oh shit, no. am I dead? Oh what the yeah, fuck? Oh, <laughs> shit. Welcome to Money's Life, where money is literally your HP, so if you go bankrupt, you fucking die. Of course, I didn't copy everything from Monopoly, I'd probably get sued. Property trading and houses is off limits. I just took the concept of the board and the movement, so instead of stealing, I'm more like a... Borrowing permanently, I guess. Then I added my own twists, and now you can commit war crimes on your friends. Yay! So, how do you play this? But wait, aren't you supposed to show how you made it? What, did you expect a devlog? Ooh. Here's some random day and time at the center of the screen, and let's time travel to when I was making some random car mechanic, and then, oh no! An error I could never hope to solve. I banged my hand against the wall like an idiot but nothing. I couldn't come up with a solution. Oh gee, hitting myself always worked until today. I then switched back to a shot of my daily life to make you guys think that I'm not a loser and maybe cook some instant noodles because that's what you guys think poor game devs eat. And I take a walk or some shit to try my best to prove to you guys that I'm not a loser. Then I magically get a eureka moment and voila, I get it solved. Yeah, sadly I'm not that guy so I just went and asked for help on the game engine's discord and boom. This guy helped me fix my dumbass problems. See? It's not all that exciting, but whatever. Okay, fine. You, you wanna see how I made it? Fine. Step 1, I made the characters, and the map, and some actions. Step 2, I finished the game. This is played on one device with only one person managing the inputs. So you either play this on one place, or someone streaming the game while on a call. Kinda like Jackbox. What, did you expect a fully functional multiplayer? I'm just a shit poster, man. I'm not a game dev. The goal is simple. He last one standing. Players take turn to make any of the three types of actions. Rolling, TP actions, and wildcard actions. Rolling. Rolling gives the player a choice to throw how many two-sided dice. Yes, I know, that's basically a coin. Once selected, the player will move to a location based on choice and random. This grants the player one TP, which is used for TP actions. Stepping on an empty tile presents a player with a choice to buy the land, or <laughs> Passing over an own tile grants player some HP. While stopping on a tile owned by another player will decrease your HP but grants them a wild card which is used for wild card actions. Next type is TP actions. The first TP action is attack. This action uses 1 TP. A player can attack other players and decrease their HP. If any attack eliminates another player, the attacker will be granted 3 TP and 1 wild card. Because of course bad deeds are rewarded. That's called realism. The second TP is work. You see this? That's the poverty line. If you're poorer than that, you can use 1 TP to work which grants you a massive amount of HP. Man, I wish we could just do this in real life, you know? The last type of TP action is ultimate. A player can use their ultimate on any player's turn. Yes, I made a turn system so I can ruin it! Ultimates typically cost 5 TP and the effects vary between characters. Ultimates that eliminate other players also grant the user 3 TP and 1 card. The last type of action is wildcard actions. You can use one wildcard to move any player one tile up or down. Or if you're cringe, you can use one wildcard to gain invulnerability for two turns. Lastly, you can also use a wildcard to sabotage a player, dealing massive amount of two damage that will be dealt regardless of a player being insured or not. Yes, I made an invulnerability system just so I can ruin that too, isn't that great? End turn. Do I really need to explain what this is? What are you, a Genshin player? Here are the tasks for those who are wondering. That's a wrap up for the rules. So what do you guys think? Right now you can only play this by downloading it from the Google Drive link below. Just know that you need both files in one folder for it to work. There's also one more way to play this game. In addition to the game, I launched a Discord server for 100 subs. Right now there's nobody there except for me and my friends, but we can hang out in there and play. 
Anyways, thanks for 100 subs. I love you all. Peace.